For almost half a century, this has been a familiar scene at the Dalton Country Club. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people have, since I'm 71, they've asked me, uh, well, when are you going to retire, Lola? And as long as my wife, uh, health is, is, is okay, myself, uh, I'm going to try to continue having fun. Lowell Fritz has been having fun since he learned the game from his father, uncle, and brother in Sandusky, Ohio. He caddied and played golf throughout his youth, but when he was in the military and stationed in Okinawa, he made the decision to get into the golf business. So in 1964, he took a job as an assistant at the Standard Club. Two years later, he was hired by the Dalton Country Club, and it's been his home ever since. It's a great place, and they let me do my job. They have benefited from the junior golf and uh, the rules at Dalton Country Club helps to promote junior golf instead of deter it. Bill McDonald and David Knoll started with Lowell as youngsters. They are just two examples of students who have gone on to college and claim numerous golfing honors thanks to old pros' simple, effective teaching methods. I always called him old pro and uh, uh, you know to me he, he was very very focused on fundamentals always to me it always seemed really simple your grip your stance your alignment those kind of things he's very physical with you and I don't mean rough he's just you know he's just he'll twist you around if he needs to twist you around he'll get in your face and you know you know kind of put his hands on kind of guy absolutely and if, if, you're, if you're not paying attention He'll put you, his hands on your face and kind of, yeah, listen, this is what we need to do. When I teach a little six-year-old or a five-year-old, I teach them three words. Uh, light, pull, and light. And, and uh, it's amazing how they'll get it right on playing. I teach four words, uh, tilt or posture. Uh, inside is from here down to your feet and there's four parts to the inside the feet the knees the hips and the shoulders swings the outside uh, these can't go anywhere without this listening to him makes you want a lesson doesn't it oh and instruction from Lowell can happen anywhere just ask his son I remember him and mom had went down to uh, Mossett Lawn and uh, instead of enjoying the you know the the beach atmosphere and so on and so forth. There was a there was a guy there, and I, he may have been part of the staff, but he he was uh, teaching him how to swing with a broom. Many people in the Dalton area appreciate Lowell's unselfish dedication. Well, the whole greater Dalton area, you know, the county, the city, everywhere. He he taught kids uh, how to play golf uh, all over the place. Now you've got two more real nice golf courses in Dalton and they have their own pros and everything. But Lowell is the fella, that's the go-to guy. Lowell has been honored with awards and national recognition. But it's not just his golf contributions that people notice. It's his commitment to other important aspects of his life. A uh, real Christian, he's a, a real neat guy all the way around. He's a solid person. He couldn't, he couldn't cuss. He could never cuss the right way. And, and uh, first of all, he didn't want to, but, but golf has a way of bringing that out in you. And uh, he, he would always jumble up, marble up, uh, sound like marbles coming out of his mouth when you try to say a bad word, because he just couldn't do it. My grandfather and my dad are both great teachers to me. Like, I, I look up to both of them. And I, I hope to grow up to have a job, just like my grandfather, where he loves it. I, I want to love my job. Ahead of my family is the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he, he, he makes everything happen. Lucky to have two great sons and a wonderful wife. It's a great family and uh, I'm lucky that the Lord put Diane and I together to have that family. Family, friends, students, they all mean so much to Lowell and so does the Hall of Fame honor. We were on the 15th green Saturday afternoon and Lowell shows up, 
pulls up in a golf cart and, he, and he's very emotional, tears in his eyes. Uh, you know, and I asked him, I said, you know, what's happened? He says, I got the call. I said, what happened? He says, they're going to induct me into the Georgia Hall of Fame. And, uh, you know, tears, hugs, and I told him it was not only so well deserved, but so well overdue and, and that I was so proud of him. That pretty much sums up the feeling people have for Lowell. And if you're ever in Dalton, stop by and say hello. Better yet, take a lesson. Old Pro would be happy to help.